Welcome to another video. Hope everyone's doing all right. And that, after a couple of weeks of gallivanting on the Lincolnshire countryside, we're back in the kitchen for this one. Absolutely fantastic. We're going to have a go at making a lemon drizzle cake. I've not made one of these since I was a kid. Absolutely fantastic. Super simple. Seven ingredients. About 10 minutes to knock together, about 40 minutes in the oven. Absolutely fantastic. So grab yourself a cuppa, put your feet up, and let's get stuck into it. Fantastic. Right, before we quickly run through the ingredients and get stuck into it, I'm going to preheat the oven to 180 degrees so it'll be nice and hot for when the batter mix is ready. But for this, like I said, seven simple ingredients. You've probably got most of them in your cupboard anyway. But we're going to be using 225 grams of self raising flour. The same again, 225 grams of caster sugar. 225 grams of bacon spread. Or softened butter. I'm using this one. Heavenly Butley from A um, from uh, Littles. It's absolutely fantastic. Just make sure it's got this on the um, on the packet. Spreading, baking, and cooking. Fantastic. You can't go wrong. You're using four large eggs, a couple of lemons, which will be taking the zest and the juice out of, a teaspoon of baking powder, and 100 grams of icing and sugar. Fantastic. I'll be making mine in a loaf tin, two pound loaf tin. We'll be lining in that in a minute. Fantastic. And I'll be making the drizzle on the hob with a saucepan. Mint, mint. Right, let's get stuck into it. Right, a couple of little jobs to do before we get stuck into making with cake batter. The first one is to line with tin. So like I said, I'm using a two pound loaf tin. I'm going to line it, with uh, grease it with a bit of butter. Then I'm going to line it with a paper. Absolutely fantastic. I'm just going to get my fingers stuck into it and that. No messing about in this kitchen. Get stuck straight in, man. Fantastic. I tell you what, I love making cakes, me. Like, I don't make that many. I think I've already made two or three on this channel. But they're fantastic, man. So we'll give that a good grease. I'll get a towel and wipe my hand off a bit. We're going to line it with some baking powder, eh, baking paper. Just get rid of that. And I find the best way, you can either line it and cut the corners and that, but I find the best way of doing this is just to scrumple it up, you know. Give it a good scrunch together. Unfold it and it should fit. Perfect. Just stuff it in. Look at that. Fantastic. No cutting corners, no one out. You can just fold them over. And the butter will just help this stick to the side of the pan and that, so it won't fold in on itself and that. Mint. So we'll stick this to one side for what batter mix. And we'll bring in with lemons and we'll prepare with lemons. Fantastic. We'll be using the rind and the juice. So first of all, we'll grate the rind off. Just get your cheese grater and use the tiny little bits, you know, the bit that never gets used. Just take off, off the zest. Just be gentle so you don't get any of the white stuff because that tastes horrible that like tell us in the comments what simple cakes you like making and that like i've said before i am no cook me like i'll just have a go and these ones are super simple super simple bit of a kitchen hero one this one like I was watching Mary, Mary Berry, is that how you say it? I keep getting her name muddled up, you know, Mary Berry. Because I think she's one of the best cake makers you'll ever want to watch, you know. If you want to make simple cakes, or make cakes simple, that's a better way of putting it, make cakes simple, watch a bit of Mary Berry, you can't go wrong, you can't go wrong. Absolutely fantastic. Right, that'll do us. I'm just going to leave it on the tray and stick it to one side for now. And we're going to juice with lemons. We'll get rid of that cheese grater because we don't need that anymore. Now, find the easiest way to, to juice a lemon is to get a fork and just stick it in and give it a good old squeeze. Don't worry about the pips and that. We can fish them out. See people trying to be too clever. Just get it 
get the juice out, get a fork in you, get loads of juice out, look at that, loads of it. This is going to make an absolutely fantastic drizzle, like, absolutely fantastic. Tell us in the comments what you thought about uh, Gibraltar Point. Stunning little place, that, isn't it? There'll be a few of these places where I can't be, I won't be able to get me drawn up just because of the wildlife and that. Well, that's fine, we can respect that. Yeah, man. I'm hunting some more out, so we're going to be out and about again soon. Next week, probably, eh? Next week. Yeah, we'll see what we can find. Half of these places I'm going to end up going for the first time, so... You will experience it the first time I experience it. Absolutely fantastic. What do you think about me little food reviews? They'll get better over time, hopefully. Like I still feel a bit daft with the camera when I'm around people and that. That'll do us on the lemon juice front. We'll stick that to one side. But what we'll make with drizzle. I'm gonna have a little wipe down and we're good to go. Right, we can move on and make with cake batter. Absolutely fantastic. I'm gonna keep it as simple as I can. So I don't really know complicated, but basically we're going to do a wet ingredients first. So we're going to put in the margarine or the, the low fat spread or whatever you want to use in that. Like I say, just make sure you get the one with the cooking tick on. So I've made it, made cakes in the past without it, and they haven't turned out that they haven't turned out that well. Like now we're going to go in with a uh, sugar. 225 grams of caster sugar, and we're just going to cream this up. Fantastic. It'll probably be a bit noisy, so I'll cut it till, we're, till when we're done. Right, that didn't take very long at all. I'm just going to knock it down off the top of the bowl and that. Fantastic. I'll keep this handy, because I'll be using it throughout the, throughout the mix. We're going to go start going in with our eggs. Four large eggs. Hopefully, I don't get any shell in it. And again, we're just going to mix them up. I'll tell you what, cakes, you know, these type of basic sponge cakes and that, they all run the same pattern. There's not really that complicated about it. So we'll just give it a quick mix. Right, that's looking absolutely fantastic. The next one, we're going to go in with a flour. I'm going to use a sieve, because that's what we were taught when we were kids and that. And I'm just going to go in with um, the 225 grams of self-raising flour and on top of that I'm going to put a teaspoon of baking powder to spread it out a little bit fantastic we're going to give it a nice shake in and that get rid of any lumps so we'll have a lovely smooth batter Fantastic, look at that. We'll get rid of the whisk, the sieve, sorry, because we don't need that anymore. We'll give it a nice, we'll start slow with a mixer this time, because it'll probably cloud up. Every now and again, just stop the mixer and just knock it down from the sides and you'll get rid of all this flour that's stuck up the sides. If it looks like it's going to be a bit, what are you, bugger? Do you see that? Hey, hey, hey. Fantastic. I'm making the right mess. If it looks like it's going to be a bit stiff, just put a, um, a tablespoon of milk in, and it'll be absolutely fine. It'll be absolutely fine. All right, let's give it one more, one more mix. Yep, that feels a little bit stiff to me. I'm going to make a right mess again. So I'm just going to put in a drop of milk, just slacken it off a little bit. I'll do, about a tablespoon or something. And that looks absolutely perfect to me. I'm going to have a little quick wipe down because I've made a right mess. And we'll move on to the next bit. Right, well, we're better done. I'm just going to put the lemon zest in. I'm going to put it in and I'm going to give it a good mix up. I nearly forgot it, if I'm honest with you, like, it would have been a, a lemon drizzle cake without any lemon in. Absolutely fantastic. So it would have been a cake. Hey, fantastic. Right, give that a good mix in. So now we've got a lemon drizzle cake. It's alright to make mistakes in the kitchen, you know. Sometimes the mistakes are good ones and you end up sticking with a mistake. We're going to bring in 
We're, we're loaf tin, all nicely lined in that. Fantastic, the oven's preheated. And I'm just gonna tip this into there without making another mess. Right, that'll do us. So make sure it's nice and even. Give it a little shake, then it'll go into all the corners and that. Now this is gonna go into an oven, preheated 180 for about 45 minutes, 40 to 45 minutes. I'm gonna check it after about 35 minutes with a skewer, just to see if it, it's uh, cooked or not. We'll, we'll, we'll get that point. And yeah, we'll move on and we'll do with a, uh, we'll drizzle. Absolutely fantastic. Right, we will keep cooking nicely in the oven. I've started to warm a pan up and I'm just gonna put the lemon juice in. I'm just gonna run it through the sieve and it'll catch any of them seeds that escaped while more uh, juice on the lemons. Fantastic. We're just gonna warm it up gently. I've swapped your spatula for a wooden spoon. That's while it warms up. This makes an absolutely lovely drizzle, you know. Lovely drizzle. You can do it with caster sugar in that, and you can do it without cooking it up, but I think this one tastes a lot better, a lot better. The ring's a little bit smoky, I must have spilled something on it earlier. All right, this is bubbling nicely now, I'm just going to turn it down to quite a low heat. Number two, I've got it on. I'm going to use my sieve again, and I'm just going to push this icing and sugar through. If you've got really smooth icing and sugar, you'll probably be able to just stick it in. But this has been in the cupboard for a while and it's gone a bit funny like. But it's alright, just stuck together, a bit of, conden uh, bit of condensation and that. Alright, that'll do for me, don't need it all really like. It'll just be a bit sweeter. And just give it a um, nice gentle stir. And just let all this sugar dissolve. Fantastic. Only takes a minute or so, you know. Look at the mess I've made. Let's give that a quick wipe round. Right, with this done, I'm just going to turn it off and leave it for the cake. We'll come back in about uh, 35 minutes. We'll check the cake. And there, fantastic. Right, it's been about 35, 40 minutes. And check that bad boy out. Look at that. I've got a little bit of leakage in the oven. That's not too bad. Just a bit more cleaning up to do. But yeah, we're just going to check to see if it's cooked. I'm going to be using a wooden skewer. Use out out you've, out you've got, a knife even. And I'm just going to put it straight in the thickest part in the middle and see if it comes out clean. If it comes out clean, we're good. Look at that. Absolutely spotless. Absolutely spotless. Right, what I'm going to do now is leave it to just take this thing out of its tail and cool down a little bit. We don't want to freeze in cold. About 10 minutes will do. And yeah, perfect. And then we'll start putting more drizzle into it and bring this cake alive, absolutely fantastic. Right, we've had about 10 minutes. The cake's nicely cooled now, it's still warm around the edges. Lovely, lovely. I'm gonna take a couple of cocktail sticks. I swapped it out for the skewer because the skewer's a bit too big for this. I'm just gonna make a load of holes. Let's poke it down, fantastic. All over the place. I'm gonna use two, multitasking and all that, look at that. That'll do us. We'll move it round to the side there. Bring in with drizzle mix. Look at that. Lovely little syrup in that. And I'm just going to spoon it over the top and let it soak in. Look at that. Absolutely stunning, man. Stunning. It will soak in. It'll be lush. Get it all on. Get it all on. What's left on the top will form like a little sticky crust and that. Lovely. Lovely. So right now is the hard bit. We've just got to wait until it's absolutely cold. Absolutely cold. Stick it in front of a cool window or something. Right. One last task before we can get stuck into it. And that's to get it out of here. Hopefully it's just going to lift off and peel nicely. But yep, that's the first stage done. Lift it off a treat. Absolute treat. Now, just got to peel this paper off. Look at that. Look how lush that looks. In fact, I might just keep it on the paper. Just, I'm going to grab the little camera and give you a proper look. Look at that. Doesn't that look stunning? Look how sticky the top looks. So right the way through. Look at that. You can see it. Absolutely lush. It's just touch warm. 
Absolutely beautiful. Right, let's bust it open and have a taste. Bring this video in. I'm going to bring me little plate in, the posh little YouTube plate, and we're going to cut it open, see if it's cooked. Lush. It's a bit sticky, but look at that, man. Fantastic. It's light, it's airy, it's cooked all the way through. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. Lovely texture on it. But yeah, I'd like to thank everyone for watching my videos and that. Absolute pleasure making them. Put that on there. It's broken off a little bit. But that just shows that it's dry enough. Put two pieces on. Right, let's have a taste. See what this is all about. Lush. Look how fluffy it is. Oh, that's lush. Lemon's got a kick. Nice and sweet. Lovely and sticky. Absolutely fantastic. So yeah, next week, I don't know what I'm going to be doing. I'll be out and about a bit. Get out in the countryside where the summer's still here. And fantastic. Give this one a go. It's absolutely simple. So simple. So lush. You'll be a kitchen hero. But thanks for watching. Hit likes and subscribes on that. And I'll see you on next week's video. See you later.